Sagittarius, this is Solomon. I want to welcome you to your weekly reading for the week of February the 13th to the 19th of 2017. All right, so this uh, week until February the 18th, the sun will be in Aquarius and that is bringing out your uh, third house. That's activating your third house of communication within your immediate environment around your siblings, neighbors, visits from others of the family and then random pop-ups. So Venus and Mars will be in Aries until March the 3rd of 2017, activating your fifth house of love, creativity, entertainment, children, and random, I said random, <laughs> romances and friendships, all right? So we have here, the sun in reverse did pop out as a major arcana. We'll talk about that there. Um, but we're gonna try to see if we can get through the shuffle from Monday through Sunday. Monday and Tuesday. And Thursday. Wow. Uh, Friday through Sunday. Yeesh. Okay. And a flip floppy kind of up and down energy. All right. So some good cards though. So the first card I do want to mention is the sun that's popping out in reverse. And you know it's the major arcana in reverse. This could be that you are a bit sad, sometimes feeling a bit frustrated a bit uh, depleted when it comes to your happiness. Sometimes you can be angry or a bit um, down when it comes to a Leo that you are dealing with. But for some reason, uh, that playfulness, that youthful, fun, and spirited energy could be blocked. And this could be around some changes that have booked, that have come about uh, within your fifth house, that creative energy around children. It could be a child that you're um, a bit sad about, maybe moving on from a relationship or home. Um, where communication could have been very tough for you because it can be strong around this time but that third house is activated so this could be some energies of uh, this week that you're experiencing that it's not very um happy but there's some other good energies and we're going to get into that all right so monday and tuesday we do have the moon in virgo and it's bringing out your 10th house of career public status career goals new opportunities and activities within a community by providing uh, your talents and an outward expression so here we do have the um, the Hierophant is in the upright position. You have the Six of Cups and then you have the Two of Swords. So here it could be the Hierophant can speak about hmm, the Hierophant can speak about um, many different things of uh, spirituality. It could be religion. It could be your beliefs in a certain situation. It could be sticking to the status quo. Maybe you're in a marriage that you're dealing with for some of you, and you're trying to. A fixed things in a marriage and some of you are contemplating whether or not it's worth your time it's worth the effort whether or not you should go back and talk to someone from the past or reach out into this new relationship or open up to someone new maybe this is um, someone has proposed to you to get uh, married or to propose or to be in a new relationship to say you know they want this thing to be uh, you know start over they want it to be a known thing they want you two to to commit to one another so this is like a commitment card in marriage you know a new beginning of just signing a contract of some time of some kind you could also in career you could be dealing with some kind of a charity you know giving to others around a community involved with friends to doing different things like that different projects and working together um, maybe studying something new in religion or something like that and it could have to do with your household and relatives and things like that your spiritual beliefs and things so the six of cups is about good energies of giving receiving you know good harmony nostalgia childhood you know memories good memories of the past but a connection with the past i feel is here in a new beginning or 
uh, a rekindling of an old flame or something like that could be going on. A decision is um, being thought about around this time. And this could have to do with careers while that Tiff house is activated here. But uh, it does seem like some kind of love um, or romantic connection is for some a lot of you are contemplating or making a decision. All right. So that's Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday and Thursday, we do have the moon in Libra bringing out your 11th house of friendships, social events. Uh, hopes and dreams and hopes and dreams around friendships and the ability to work well with others and expressing your individuality. So here we do have some good cards. Okay, some really good cards. For you, we have the Ace of Cups. We have the Four of Wands and then we have the Emperor. So I feel like a lot of you are, you have some things in mind where you have your sights set on something. You have some goals. You have some things that you are trying to um, do in your life and this is maybe a reach a new milestone when it comes to a marriage or maybe you're looking to move get your own place find stability in a relationship sometimes it's just uh, doing things on your own a bit sometimes some of you could be around a father you could be around a mother um, you could be focused on an Aries um, you could be dealing with um, maybe a new uh, prospect in love, new opportunities, maybe someone new in your love life. And I feel like, remember that two of swords that I was talking about? Contemplating whether or not you want to kind of stay with the past or move into this new opportunity in love and maybe move with a new person. I do feel like the, you know, the emperor here is um, someone who is uh, going by all the rules, doing all the things that they know is necessary to take the right actions to move in a better direction so if the emperor knows that he's in a past uh, relationship or has some ties to a past marriage or something he knows that he has to take care of that unfinished business he knows that he has to move on from that in order to embrace all uh, the energies of this four of wands and this ace of cups so a beautiful new opportunity in love an overwhelming sense of emotion um some new personal growth emotionally for a lot of you so this is taking you out of your element but you may be happy to experience that because it's something very new to you okay something you have that wands energy this is fire a lot of energy and passion so a lot of energy going on when it comes to maybe celebrating around the home uh with this could just be with friends and family that you are around but it feels good you're happy you're being a bit more playful and um enjoying that energy around someone so romantic partner friendships or whatever so we do that's your 11th house of friends so to be around friends all right so that is wednesday and thursday so friday through sunday we do have we have the moon in Scorpio, and that's bringing out your 12th house of secrets, sorrows, closure, psychic abilities, recharging, endings of cycles, limitations, and escapism. And then Sunday, we have um, the moon in Sagittarius, your own sign. So it's your first house, you know, dealing with yourself as well. So that 12th house, look what it brings out. It's bringing out the Three of Swords. It's bringing out the uh, King of Wands in reverse, and then the Ace of Pentacles upright. So, you know, good a good card to see when it's new beginnings about money. I think Virgo. Hey, Virgo did have this. The Ace of Pentacles in your right position. And you could be dealing with the Virgo. Um, or surrounded by one. Okay. The King of Wands in reverse is um, uh, Aries Leo or Sagittarius. But you could be heartbroken because of the separation between you. You know, the person. Maybe this is someone that you are working with on the job. Some financial issues that you may have with this person. Maybe someone you have loaned someone some money or something like that. And they've kind of ran away with it. Didn't pay you back. You're angry with that kind of situation. Even in your relationship where there's some money uh, going on. Some money issues happening. Maybe you're making enough money and the other person is not. And it's causing a lot of blockages when it comes to that. Okay, Some issues like that. Or you're unhappy with a manager or supervisor or something like that. The Three of Swords is about receiving an answer of some kind that you don't like. Sometimes it is just temporary separation or knowing the truth about you know having to move on. And then sometimes knowing the truth about yourself, whether you are or have been a serial dater, you've been involved in a three-way situation that has not been serving you right. And the reality and the truth of that situation is not making you happy or another person happy so for some reason there is some kind of separation or the truth and reality of the situation here through maybe some kind of communication that actually happens um sometimes this is receiving some kind of truth that is heartbroken heart 
breaking and earth shattering. So, um, but the Ace of Pentacles, let's look at that as a positive omen to see here in your situation. So try to focus on that, whatever this is, you know, send some good healing, some good vibes to that. Let's see what's going on with you from the Romance Angels, all right? Glory and Virtue for February 13th to the 19th. Hmm. Interesting. These two cards flipped out. So we have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. And then we have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And doesn't that make sense when I was talking about the new love energy, new opportunity for a lot of you? Sometimes this new love could be new growth in your relationship, but new beginnings when it comes to a new person that's going to be significant in your life and make the effort. You know that you, if you are single, if you're needing to go out and explore your opportunities, that you need to go out and do that. You have been freed from a marriage or a relationship that has not been happy for you. Now you have your freedom. So take those steps, you know, get out and about, talk to people, um, get to know someone instead of closing yourself off or make changes that you know that need to be made in order for you to run into this new energy of love. So. Um, you know, I hope that that speaks to you uh, this week in many different ways. And if you would like a private reading, you can always come to me via my Facebook page or you can email me to set something up that's going to be specific for you. Much love and much light. Savage.